What's up, guys? Bizarre 1000 here. I guess you could call this a TNA Impact Wrestling Ratings Review thing. On Thursday night's episode of TNA Impact Wrestling, get a 1.2 K rating, which is like 1,614,000 viewers. That's down a bit from last week's 1.25. On 1.3. It should be noted the show went head to head with ESPN X Games, which did a big rating. So, a new TNA signing Jesse Gatters told TMZ, I feel absolutely privileged and exceptionally proud to be a part of TNA uh, of Impact Wrestling. Their roster is the best in the world. And it's an honor to work with them. This is a lifelong dream come true for me. So is he the new Miz? <laughs> well, if you don't know, uh, he's a big brother star. Uh, also, other news. Um, Triple H is set to turn heel, which I heard about. They're talking about bringing him back and having a feud with CM Punk. That's a rumor. It's not official. Also, there's from WE sources inside the WE talking about Mick Foley coming back. First as a goodwill ambassador, then maybe, you know, you have Triple H on Raw, maybe throw Mick Foley on SmackDown, have those two feud. They were huge rivals back in the day. So maybe something like that. That would be interesting. Um... Yes, it's Sunday. I don't know if I'll be, get, be able to get my raw review out tomorrow night, so I'm going to do a video tonight. Um, I guess we're going to hear more about CM Punk and John Cena, which is obvious that um, uh, we're going to have title for title, which is funny, because if you watch SmackDown Friday night, I fix my camera, um, like I did, of course, like I always do. I usually watch it later on. Um, they did They did a SummerSlam replay. And they showed Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels Intercontinental title for title. So is that kind of a hint that they're going to do some type of ladder match or some type of special match where CM Punk wins both titles? Which I think CM Punk should stay champion because the true wrestling fans do not want to see John Cena. I am not a John Cena fan. Um, anything notable going on? I don't really know. I might try to do a review. So I don't know yet. I might also give a review because I'm going to go see Captain America tomorrow. So I might give a review on that. See if I liked it, if I hated it. Give a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Matt Morgan out for six weeks. A partial torn but torn muscle. Um... Billy Gunn apologizes for Triple H's comments. You can check that video out. Oh, nothing really going on. Nothing major news, really. And the whole Sheamus turning heel thing, it's kind of interesting. Or turning face, I should say. How do I feel about Sheamus turning face? I think it's interesting. Because you ha Christian right now is the number one heel, along with Mark Henry. And our truth is not all. Because CM Punk is kind of a tweener. He's kind of a face and a heel right now. So it's very interesting. And if you didn't know this, Colt Cabana did a podcast where he talked about CM Punk's first ever shoot thing where they had the... Was it real or was it a shoot or was it at work? Well, Colt Cabana said, and, and I quote, that was a complete shoot interview. That's what Colt Cabana said. There was no script. He said, Colt Cabana says that CM Punk has told him this personally. Everything he said on all, he's told him this before. So, maybe it was a shoot. Now, I did watch an interview with uh, Joey Styles. How everyone remembers Joey Styles' famous rant when I'm on King. He was sick of the WE, and then King pushed him, and he said, Come on, Joey. Show us something. And then uh, 
Joey Styles leaves and he comes back. King apologizes and he just does this complete shoot on the wrestling and sports entertainment. How he's not allowed to call a wrestling hold or wrestlers or, or superstars. Which when they let their guy, their people in the company do stuff like this, I mean, it, it kind of hurts because you're sitting there basically calling your fans stupid for watching sports entertainment. The WWE Sports Entertainment, not wrestling. And you're calling your fans stupid because they're watching your product and what you put out there. People aren't watching you, WWE, because you're sports entertainment. The fans who are watching you are the same fans who watched you when you were the WWE World Wrestling Federation. Which is now owned by the World Wildlife Foundation, but still. In case anybody ever wondered why they changed the name, it wasn't to be different because they wanted something new. It was because they were forced to. Because the WWF was was Vince McMahon's World Wrestling Federation. Well, there was another WWF before the World Wrestling Federation was actually... I'm not sure if it's before they were called the World Wrestling Federation or if it's just that the World Wildlife Foundation like coined the phrase... World Wrestling, or World Wildlife Foundation before the World Wrestling Federation copyrighted the name. So yeah, um, uh, and they did a cool slogan with it, get the F out. Um, but yeah, there's so much, that's one reason why they did that. And I'm still looking forward to seeing the WCW DVD, because I'm a huge wrestling fan, and Nitro was a lot more wrestling than WWE was, or WF back then. Um, I can't wait to see some of these other videos, I'm really looking forward to seeing some wrestling stuff, I'm checking, looking forward to checking out some more wrestling stuff. Um, I've been paying attention to some football. Well, wrestling news is kind of slow. I'm intrigued on Raw now because the new Triple H thing. I wonder if he's going to take over or if he's going to announce a new general manager. I mean, I'm intrigued to see how they're going to let this all play out. What are they going to do with the new general manager? Which I'd be kind of confused because I thought Triple H was supposed to make a state of the state of wrestling, the state of the WWE address. He never really made a state of the WWE address before. One thing he really said was the WWE champion was um, uh, going to defend, raise your head and defend his title that night. That's the only thing he really said about the WWE title. And then our truth came out, and I already talked about Michael Cole, Michael Cole had a match, and our truth came out, and it was just, I don't know. And then Friday Night Smackdown, we had Christian and Triple H, which I was watching NXT, and um, uh, it was funny because we was like, Triple H! And Todd Grissom is absolutely the worst ring announcer ever. He screws everything up. He says the stupidest things in the world. Like, anyone remember way back when Mickey James was still in the WWE? And, um, uh, Lay Cool were doing this thing, and, and they dumped a bowl of punch on her, and Todd Grissom had the audacity to say, Michelle McCool just spiked the punch. I mean, Todd Grissom is the worst ring announcer ever. The worst commentator, I should say, ever. Guys, how are you normally call this video? Wrestling news, I don't know, breaking news, wrestling news, I don't know. Have a good one, guys.